six completions, 199 yards, 60 yard touchdown. I mean, not a bad day. Did you, you know, see that coming? And yeah, what did you say about your performance? Uh, it was a good performance. I, I felt like I did a good job. Um, executing the play, so and that's something I've been working on all spring. So I just gotta make sure I continue to do that. Um, Coach Jones always talks about consistent performance. So not only me, but the entire offense had another good day as we ha as we've had all spring. So it's another great day just to continue building on um, our style of play and continue to work on plays and execution. For Joshua, just how much of a difference is there in just the amount of weapons you as quarterbacks have with? Josh Malone coming in, the other returning receivers kind of being a year older. Just how much of a difference is there in big playability? Uh, it makes a di big difference, especially um, for receivers like Quez, who have been in the system for two years. Um, just being able to make plays and uh, make plays within the offense, that's grown. And then the newcomers, of course, have done a great job this spring catching on with Jalen Hurd had a lot of big runs today. Josh Malone had a couple really nice catches. So we're doing a really good job of growing from practice to practice and executing. Kurt, you took on the leadership award, the Al Wilson award, and to have him give you, I guess, a flag in the field, what that mean to you? Oh, that's a great feeling. Um, it's a great opportunity, especially to be in the first annual. Um, Al Wilson, the guy, and Linda Little, and people that me and AJ look up to a lot. And um, I'm just trying to do my best to be a, a leader for this team. And I think that's, that's a great opportunity. I feel, I feel appreciated. Oh, it was real important. Uh, we needed that a lot just for our confidence, um, knowing to trust our technique and just trusting the scheme to go into the fall. Just how confident are you with this whole receiver for you, with yourself, with Josh um, Pearson coming in? Just how much more explosive do you think this receiving core can be versus maybe where it was a year ago? I'm very confident. All of them are just freaky talented. I'm just excited to see where it goes. Kurt, um, Coach Jones has talked about uh, all the newcomers coming in in the fall and all the defensive guys. How valuable could it be if you had defensive newcomers step up like we've seen Jalen Hurd and Josh Malone do this, this spring? I think it's a great opportunity for the offense and defense as well. Um, I think it's going to start with leadership from the offense and defense standpoint, um, getting those guys in and getting them on board right away because they're not going to have as much time as the guys that came in earlier will have. But definitely, definitely will help a lot with depth for sure and um, different playmaking abilities. Have you kept up with guys like Dylan Bates or Chris Weather? Do you know any of those guys already? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I got a pretty good relationship with um, Weather, and I, I speak to Bates, and we, we, we got a pretty good relationship as well. Your kind of message to all those guys that you talk to? Oh, every time I talk to Chris, I tell him, let's hit the ground rolling when he come in. Make sure he's in shape. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't have time to, to, to take baby steps. We got to go. Josh, I know there's no depth chart per se at this point. I mean, do you feel like you kind of took a, a step forward today? And, and I, I, feel, I feel like I had a productive day, but I feel like as a unit, all the course, we had a productive day. We did an excellent job of executing plays, um, focusing on fundamentals and executing plays that Coach Jake was calling, moving the ball, um, having good productive drives. So it was another great step forward for us as a whole unit. Josh, you had three touchdown passes and I think six completions. How does that, you know, what does that do for your confidence heading into the, into the offseason? Well, it was good. Um, I take pride in myself. I'm always a confident individual, but um, it, it was a good day, um, great step forward. So just got to continue to build on it. Josh, with all the talk about the explosive receivers and everything, can you talk a little bit about the run game and the running backs, what you've seen out of them? Uh, spring in today. Okay, um, all spring I've been extremely impressed by them. Um, we, we definitely have a dynamic group at running back with Devrin, Marlon Lane, Jalen Hurd, Justice Pickett, all of them. They, they've done a great job of having good tough runs, um, making defenders miss, but also being able to grind it out. And when it comes down to that fourth and one situation when we need them to push the pile and get that one yard, they definitely will. So I'm extremely excited. Josh, with that with those accuracy on those deep balls today, are, are you just more comfortable or confident in the offense? or has your arm actually gotten stronger than it was last year? Uh, I, feel, I feel like um, I've gotten stronger. Um, just uh, Coach Lawson has done a great job in the weight room of pushing us hard, um, getting bigger, faster, stronger as a team. So I feel like me personally, I've gotten stronger. And then um, as a team, we've all gotten stronger. That's really has shown throughout the spring just with our collisions and um, our explosive plays. How much does that help you as a quarterback knowing that you can see a guy deep downfield and if he gets a break, now knowing they have, there's a little more oomph in there. I can I can make that throw better now. Does that help your mindset at all or confidence? Uh, um, I, I, I would say that, but um, I feel like I've all, I've always been able to make those throws. So it just continue to just grow. It just comes with um, timing with the receivers being 
after practice, and our receivers doing a great job working after practice with us, just throwing, working our timing and our rhythm. What does it mean to have big targets like North and Malone as a quarterback? Oh, it is amazing. It's honestly quarterback's best friend. You have people like Marquez, Josh Malone, Jason Kroom, just bodies that you're able to just throw the ball up with, up and know that they're going to come down with it or no one's going to come down with this. It's huge for us, especially when we get in the red zone. Josh, that touchdown where you dropped the snap and ran 60 yards, that's how, you, that's how the play was designed to go, right? You're supposed to drop it. And oh, yeah, of course. That was, that was written up. We, we practiced that last night, so <laughs> no worries. Questions for Kurt or Marquez? Kurt, can you talk about the, the pass rush today? I know uh, obviously y'all got to Ferguson three times, but overall it looked like maybe there was some, wasn't as much push as you wanted. I think it was a tough day for the defense. Um, we didn't we didn't play well. Um, last week we played, we played with more effort and a more intensity. You know what I'm saying? Um, when we play as a whole and play as a unit, we, we we make production. You know what I mean? We get pressure, we get sacks, but today wasn't a good day. Is it more frustrating? Maybe I, I think the coaches said that y'all were in position to make the tackles. That you were in the box correctly, but then the plays weren't made. I guess is it good to be in position, but kind of bad when you set the table and then don't eat? I guess is it make it more frustrating. Um, I wouldn't say it make it more frustrating. I know it's something we need to work on. You know what I'm saying? Um, with tackling, and for sure, we missed a, a, way too many tackles tonight. Um, so we, get, we got to work on, watch film, correct our mistakes, and we got we got a long way to go Marquez, as a defense. Sorry, Kurt. Mar Marquez Malone. You know he's supposed to still be in high school, and, and you came in and played as a freshman. How, are you impressed by how ready he looks to play right now? Oh yeah, I'm very impressed with Malone. He's a humble guy and a good work ethic. He's going to take off.